He's probably one of the most dominant defensive players in our game today. In 2016, Earl Thomas was on course for another remarkable season. I love you, homie. Oh, Great game. It feels so good. Happy for you, bro. Happy for you. Great play. Great play. But a broken tibia derailed his and the Seahawks season. Earl's just like a quarterback. When a quarterback goes down, he's that caliber of a player. You know, he's gonna, it's gonna be noticeable. There's just no replacing a guy like Earl. Losing him definitely affected our defense a little bit this year. Before Thomas's injury, Seattle allowed only an average of 16 points per game. Without him, 23. You know, when he's in the game for our team, he changes the element. Offenses have to account for him. They can't throw it down the middle of the field. They can't throw it deep because Earl Thomas is back there. He's able to get his hand in there. This is a great play by Earl Thomas, something he does very well, which is cover a lot of ground. They can't uh, be lackadaisical with the ball. He's always in the right place because he works so hard. He watches so much film. Ball tipped up in the air, and it is intercepted. It is intercepted Earl. Earl is the smallest guy out there in the, in the back end, but he has the biggest chip on his shoulder. Sanu was the intended receiver, he got clubbed. Lord have mercy, that hurt me. LOB does stand for Legion of Boom, and he exemplifies that to the maximum. Not only is he a great tackler, but I mean, his sideline to sideline speed is ridiculous. Earl Thomas came from about 12 yards deep that time. He recognizes it right away and almost had a pick six right there. We call him the eraser because when another, the offense has an opportunity to make a play, he erases it. He's always making game-changing plays, whether it's an interception. The ball is tipped up in the air and it's intercepted by Earl Thomas. And the Seahawks have the ball in great scoring position one more time. Whether well, it's a big hit to jar the ball loose and so that they don't get a first down. The hit on Gronk, how good did that feel? Uh, that was probably you know, one of the best plays I have made like in my career. I had a great break, I trusted myself. It wasn't a pick, but it was technique sound. I made a great play. Absolutely, he deserves to be on the top 100.